Okay, this first video is going to be how to disassemble the Banks Sidewinder Turbocharger TE06H housing. And I will begin by disconnecting the wastegate. There is a cotter pin here that you need to remove. I have already removed it, so I'm just going to pull it off for demonstration purposes. And if you turn it around, there are two bolts here that you will need to remove. I've already loosened these up, um, and you might find it helpful to pull off the actuator arm first, and then remove the two bolts. Wastegate is free, and now just remove the wastegate hose and set that aside. Now you'll see that your heat shield has loosened up. If you turn the turbo around, you will notice that there is another bolt right here that needs to come off, and you can get this heat shield out of the way. These three bolts are the same size, so it does not necessarily matter which way they go back in. Now continue by removing the housing here, the heat shield, and set that aside. And next you're going to want to remove the oil inlet. This whole this whole mount here. There are two bolts, one here and one there. And you just remove them. They're both the same size. They also have lock washers on them that you will want to make sure you keep or replace if you feel necessary. These two washers right here there are actually two washers that have grooves that interconnect them when they're placed together like this so they make a a tighter seal I'm assuming but anyways hold on to those and the next thing you're going to want to do is remove your band clamp right there I've already disconnected mine but this holds the exhaust housing and the intake housing together so we'll just go ahead and remove the bolt from that there's a bolt and a nut that hold this together you can go ahead and just start unscrewing the bolt or the, I'm sorry, the nut, because the bolt is held in by a, a square notch in this band clamp, so it won't move. But anyways, after that, go ahead and pop this off. And set that aside. And then, you might need to use a rubber hammer, some penetrating oil, or whatever gets the job done, but you need to separate these two housings from the center. The CHAR, or something like that, whatever they call it. Center housing is, is this piece right in here. I've already done this, so I can... It still sticks a little bit, so hold on. There's the intake compressor side, the bank sidewinder. Set that aside. You may want to clean it. It's up to you. I suggest cleaning everything as much as you can. Make it look professional and reduce any possibility of air resistance due to nasty old junk and crap in the so I'll flip this over, and you can see this is a compressor, and I haven't cleaned everything up yet, but I will before I rebuild it. And then the exhaust side. So this whole center housing comes apart if I can get it. It's kind of stuck back together. 
be very, very, very careful not to damage any of these splines. If you bend or break or mar any of these significantly, you will need to purchase a new wheel. But this is the center housing, apart from the exhaust and intake housing. Exhaust housing. So you're going to set that aside as well. And to, re to do a rebuild on one of these turbos, this is what you're mainly going to be focusing on. This entire piece here. As you can see, there are O rings that need to be replaced. There's exhaust shields that need to be replaced. And, of course, you, you're going to want to make sure that you line up these two wheels, front or exhaust and intake, so that whenever you reassemble this, you can line up your marks, if you make marks, so that they are balanced again. I am planning on making a mark on this wheel against this housing like so and then on the exhaust side it's a little more complicated because you will be replacing this exhaust shield right here if you get a rebuild kit so I was thinking of lining it up so that one of these blades I can take a ruler or a set of calipers and maybe just take the tip of this line it up to this housing here and make a mark on both and that way when I put it back together I can line this up with the housing and I'll also make the corresponding line here so that I will know exactly where I need to bolt this back down so that they're both in line and this is your bank sidewinder turbo taken apart halfway once I get the rebuild kit, I will continue with the rest of the, uh, I don't want to say destruction process, but disassembly. And uh, we'll, we'll get into the guts of this whole thing. I'll show you how to rebuild it. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching.